Welcome back to Shenanigans 321. Today we're going to do something different than the A Team of All following the suggestions of Liz Hillbilly and a few other people. Um, we're switching it up. Today I'm going to make for you a chicken, a white bean chili. It was raining today, perfect weather. I will go over all the ingredients with you and then tell you the measurements. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I already prepped everything as you can see. Um, first off, what we did, um, I did brown, you all know how to brown some chicken, right? So it was about four or five minutes. This is a pound and a half to two pounds of boneless chicken breast. So we're gonna let that cool down over here. I'm gonna use the same pot. I'm gonna use some EVO, extra virgin olive oil. Just wanna coat the bottom. I am gonna put my temperature here on medium, medium high. And once I see that that olive oil is getting a little bit of a glisten and shimmer to it, my next step that I am going to do is add the onion. Now, adjust the flavor to the way you want them. Me, I can eat an onion like an apple. Jay, not so much. So I only used a medium to large size onion. Used a little bit more than half of it. And if you want to take a look, um, I don't want chunks of it. You could do a heartier chili if you want, but I just kind of minced them, diced them. Might get a couple pieces in there that are larger than the others. That's okay. I can test my oil. The pan was already hot. Hear that sizzle? So the pan was already hot because that's what I used to do the chicken breast. Again, that was one and a half to two pounds. And over here, we've got a little bit more than half of an onion. You can use yellow onion. Um, I've never used the red. You can use a white Maui, whatever your preference is. This is just the yellow, yellow onion. So we're gonna let that get a little bit softened and translucent. And while that is cooking away, I'll go over um, our next step. Once we get the onion kind of translucent, you know that garlic can brown very easily. It doesn't take too long. So when I get this down to the uh, little high, I'm gonna put that down to medium. When it gets to the texture I want, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. Now, again, I love garlic. For me, if I'm gonna make a recipe that takes this time to prep, I like to use fresh whole garlic. I don't like to use the minced chard, the additives, the salt. Go with the fresh stuff. Take the time. Trust me, you'll thank me for it. And then over here, I have one jalapeno. Jay is not big on this, so I am going to actually use this to top off the chili when it's done. I like the harder texture, um, and I did uh, take the, pretty much all the seeds out and devein them. There's maybe one or two seeds in there, but I'll put a few in those in with the garlic just for a little bit of flavor. Now, I wish I... Uh, Knew how to edit these videos. Um, that is something I'm actually going to take the time to learn for you. Um, I know it is very time consuming, something I don't have a whole lot of, but I really want to shorten the video so you're not sitting here and I'm not just blabbing away while we're waiting for these uh, onions to cook down a little bit. Anyway, if you have not yet already subscribed to my YouTube channel, obviously that's where you're seeing me now. Um, please do so. Please like and share. Um, special hello. I have almost a thousand. I think I'm two away from a thousand subscribers. You guys are amazing. Um, and just with the switch up with Chimu and everything, we're going to be doing vacations. Another reason why I want to learn how to edit these videos. You know, we love to cruise. We vacation quite a bit. Um, got some family fun things in there. We're going to do recipes. Um, there's a suggestion for me to do a get ready with me. Um, just little things here and there. I'm gonna mix it up and uh, still gonna do the chino because you know this girl's addicted. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. So thank you for the suggestions to Liz and uh, Ashton. Shout out to my girls, to Brenda, to Victoria, uh, Chasten, Lacayo, a new subscriber. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Your comments. You know I haven't had an nasty one in a while, and I had my first one. Um, saying that he sells junk because the YouTuber is like me. Yeah, because I'm in charge of the productivity line and, you know, I create all these little gadgets, but people are ridiculous. 
Anyway, hope you guys had a great new year. Lisa, if you want to come on over here, I got Jay, my fiance, is helping me out for the first time ever. Yay, Jay, thanks for helping your woman out. But you can see these are getting uh, the color. If you want to come take a look in the pot. You can see they're getting a little bit softer now. For time's sake, obviously we don't want a two hour video on chili. Um, I'm going to let this go just a couple more minutes, but they are going nicely. Um, they're going to cook down anyway in the chili, right? And you can smell it. Uh, onion facial, is that a thing, y'all? Nom, 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 nom. I'm going to go ahead and watch this. Jay does not like heat. Just his hot girlfriend. Right, baby? Mm -hmm. So I am just going to use very little of the helping. I am talking like this is a teaspoon, do a couple more, just to get some of that flavor. And then uh, while this is uh, going to go down and get heated up, come over here, I'm going to show you how I like to top my chill. And it doesn't matter if it's your basic ground beef chili, lamb, turkey chili. Jay makes a very good turkey chili, actually. But, gotta have a dollop of daisy. So, on uh, the white chicken chili, I'm gonna have sour cream on the top. He does not like cilantro. <laughs> Sprinkle. But um, I do. So, what I do is I put these on the side as opposed to. Uh, if you're cooking, if your family likes the cilantro and the jalapeno, throw that in there. Throw that in there. He's not a fan, like I said. So this, uh, with the jalapeno, cilantro, sour cream, will go in my bowl. And then, of course, just like I can eat an onion like an apple, Jay will eat this whole avocado like an apple. So, now we don't want that to brown. I'm going to turn my heat down. Thank you, Jay. Saving the day. Now we're going to put the garlic in. Again, this is um, four to five is what the recipe calls for of chopped minced garlic. I'm going to turn that heat down. Now, what I'm going to do because it is a little too hot. Okay, we're going to just have fun. We're going to wing it. This is going to cool down my pan a little bit, and that's just a little bit of that chicken stock, chicken broth. Again, use your own cheat. Um, in the event, that you uh, notice your chili is thicker than you like and you don't have enough chicken stock if you buy the quartz like I did, the broth. I love these Goya, um, the powdered chicken bouillon. One envelope of these with one cup of water will equal how much? One cup. So if you need additional, it's always my backup. I always have some kind of bouillon, whether it's the, uh, what is the name of those? Uh, the jar. Better than uh, you would know. <sighs> My favorite. Better than... Left. Better than bouillon. That's it. The better than bouillon has the best, the best. They got the roast beef, they got the chicken bone broth, they, you've got it. vegetable, tomato, love that stuff. So as you can see, the pot actually cooled down a little bit. And the garlic, we don't want that on there too long. The pot was pretty hot. And you can smell it. Um, and the more you cook, the more you'll, you'll kind of know from the texture and sight of where it's at. So there we go. So, uh, so far we have the garlic. Very little, just a, maybe a sliver of jalapeno. Tiny leaves of cilantro. The onions, we already have the chicken. So now this is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn that heat back up. I turned it a little bit below medium now. It's like um, my stove goes up to, what does that go up to? Like a 10, I guess you could say. So this is at about a five and a half. We'll do, do a five. So here we go. Here's the fun part. Now we are going to go over our seasonings. So we have a teaspoon of cumin. So one teaspoon of cumin. One, oh, that's over here, sorry. There's the cumin, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of paprika. Throw that in there. This is getting really hot. Turn it down some more. And then you'll start smelling it bloom. Then over here, we've got a quarter teaspoon of salt. 
quarter teaspoon of black pepper, just a few crushed red pepper flakes. Um, that's like even less than a quarter. Um, half a teaspoon of chili powder and paprika. We have one teaspoon of paprika. So again, you got salt, pepper, crushed red peppers, paprika, and chili powder. There's all your seasonings. And it's okay, it's gonna stick to the bottom. That's what it does, that's the blooming. And I'm just gonna get that. Oh, it smells like an Indian restaurant right now. Love it. I can get down with some Indian food, you guys. Love, love, love it. Probably one of my favorite cuisines. Not Puerto Rican food. So this doesn't take very long. Like I said, you just want to get kind of uh, the flavors uh, welded together, so to speak. Maybe not the best choice word. What word would you use? Not welded, but uh, incorporated. Yeah. All right. Now here's the fun part. How's that smell? Smells good. So for me. You got the chicken stock again six to seven cups i'm not going to add it all in once i just want to basically stop the process of the spices I'm just going to get that mixed in make sure there's no dry bits or parts and here's the fun stuff so we are going to go ahead and add our beans again it is a white bean um, I have four different kinds in here. You can use all Canelli, you can use the white kidneys, you can use the northerns, you can use the chili. It's the only one I wouldn't recommend, obviously, white bean would be a chickpea or garbanzo. But here I have, um, there's four 15 ounce cans of beans. So I've got the Canelli, the northern, the kidney, and just white chili beans. And those are uh, four 15 ounce cans. Those are gonna go in. I did rinse and drain them. Now I'm gonna turn my heat back up to a medium high. Now keep in mind, even though you browned your chicken, it, this is still gonna cook for anywhere from, I'd say two hours to be safe, but uh, you could do like an hour and a half. I mean, it's canned beans. Okay, so we got our beans in there. Now, over here we have our green chilies. These are two four ounce cans of green chili. You can um, get them in mild, medium, hot. I went with, I believe, uh, one mild and one medium. Again, shave the spices. Gonna add the stump, dump that all in there. And this is a big pot of chili. Uh, I have quite a few senior citizens in our uh, community, so I do like to, uh, you know, Jay, just not the biggest fan of leftovers. I mean, uh, this is enough for me to take to work. I have a four-day work trip coming in. This holds great. This will hold up very well. You can freeze it. You don't have to worry about the beans in the freezer. It does, it does freeze nicely. But, um, and it, I don't know, chili's kind of like one of those things. Sometimes it tastes better the next day. You know, with the lasagna. So I am just mixing all this in. Again, I will bring some of these to the neighbors. All right, moving on up to the top. Got our frozen corn. You can use can if you want. I personally am using the cone. This is 18 ounces. So um, it's about a bag and a half. And it's still kind of frozen. That's all right. That's okay. But I'm going to go ahead and add... At least that one. Actually, you know what? Reverse. I'll wait on the corn. Because that obviously doesn't even have to cook. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring that up to a boil. Make it a mess. It's all right. I can clean up. All right, back to the chicken. Again, this was already browned. Let me just break open a piece to see. I mean, it maybe won't. I mean, I think they recommend like two hours. Just, uh, you know, for the flavors to blend, but very bland. I feel like I'm on a diet. I should be, but I'm going to add the chicken in there. I mean, this could probably just be done in an hour if you wanted to. And mix that 
bad boy up. I've made a mistake. I love this pot. I've had this pot for probably 20 years, maybe 25. It's a notorious rice and beans pot or Puerto Rican rice and beans. Don't do this, but it's like cast iron. I love it. It just they last forever. So now, if you look at the consistency of this, I mean, it will thicken, of course. I mean, that's a pretty hearty chili. But uh, once it starts to boil and it reduces, it'll boil down. I am going to reserve the other uh, chicken stock, chicken broth. I keep calling it a stock. It's just broth. And, of course, me personally, if this batch was for me, I, I would be killing it with the cilantro and the jalapenos and crushed red peppers. You can even throw in some Tabasco sauce, hot sauce, if you want. All right, so for time's sake, we'll say it is boiling. I am going to go ahead and add the corn. Again, if you don't want that much corn, don't use that much corn. This is a lot. And to think, gosh, we'll be uh, having chili for the rest of the winter. It did rain today. That is a lot of corn. I probably should have uh, started with half. It's all right. You don't mind being corny. So now you can already see just with that, uh, that the broth is kind of soaking it up. But because it's frozen corn, it will uh, lend off a little bit of uh, that water, so to speak, from the ice from it being frozen. Safety measures. Don't do that at home. It's all right. Because while well, this is cooking, I'll finish cleaning it. Now, I do not cover it with a lid. And now, the last thing for me to do is just basically, after I give it a stir, I'm going to taste it for flavor to see if it needs any more salt, if it needs anything. And then it's just a waiting game. So let's see. Spicy. I'm double dipping. I don't care. Just those. Good. Definitely not to put any salt in it because what do you always tell me, babe? You can always add salt. And I always, especially because I used to smoke, you know, I hate, but uh, I would always over, over salt stuff. And you know, like, oh, you put too much salt in here, so now. I just leave it be, and then if I need more salt, I add it in. And now, um, again, this is just going to cook for an hour and a half. I'm going to go over your ingredients, and we're going to wrap up the video. Um, we are having, let me show you. See, like I was telling you for me, because I like it spicy, I've got these kicking ass hot sauces I'll just sprinkle over the top. you got to do a good bread, people. You cannot Bad have... lighting over there. Huh? Bad lighting. Bad lighting, okay. So what kind of bread is that? Art Artisan Country Loaf. So yeah, they just uh, they got half a loaf and they cut it down. So we'll have that with some fresh bread and butter. Gonna let this bad boy go. Again, I'm not gonna cover it. I'm gonna check on it every 10 minutes. Give it a nice stir. It should take an hour, hour and a half. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Oh, oh yeah, gonna go over the ingredients. Again, we'll uh, Cut this in half and slice it up to have with the chili. Got my toppings. I already went over the jalapeno cilantro sour cream. And they need olive oil just to coat the bottom of the pan to brown your chicken. And then when you strain the chicken, again, use it for the onions. So you're going to have six to seven cups of chicken stock. Four 15-ounce cans of white beans. Your choice, chili beans. Canelli. Canelli. Northern. Um... Two four ounce cans of the green chilies. You can do mild, medium, hot, your choice. One teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of cayenne, quarter teaspoon of salt, and quarter teaspoon of pepper. Half a tablespoon, or maybe it's two, half a teaspoon of chili powder. I've got my cheat sheet over here. Um, 18 ounces, give or take frozen corn. I'd probably cut it back instead of a bag and a half, maybe a bag, depending on your taste. Um, two pounds of boneless chicken breast, again, cubed as you already saw, and I added half a teaspoon of red crushed peppers, five garlic cloves, half an onion, and there you got it.
And I'll keep this as backup if I need it. I'll make some more chicken broth. And with that, uh, again, thank you guys for being here. Please uh, give me some comments. Let me know what you think because this is my first YouTube cooking channel. And if all goes well, maybe I'll do more. Uh, we'll see how it tastes. I will post pictures in the thumbnails of the finished dish. Anyway, with that, miss you guys. Love you guys. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. I hope you're having a great start to your new year already. Bye.